fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalal and bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Sierra Leone. The first solar powered car that is made of trash was made by a 24 year old young man. Let me read for you the article, we'll come back and discuss. The first solar powered car made out of trash is invented in Sierra Leone. A 24 year old has made his dream into a reality in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Emmanuel Alio Mansare, a student at university, came up with the idea of building a solar-powered car made from trash and scraps he picked up along the way. The project took him three years of hard work, but the car is now up and running. Mansare regularly drives it around town and can reach speeds of 15 km per hour. The Imagination car is designed using the country's signature color of green, white and blue, and locals describe it as amazing. Since pollution is a growing problem in Sierra Leone, now more than ever, there is a need for renewable transport to ensure cleaner air for its inhabitants. It has been rated as the seventh most vulnerable country in the world when it comes to air pollution. And it's not just transport that's the problem. Many households use charcoal or woods as a source of fuel for cooking, meaning the amount of carbon dioxide produced in cities is on the rise. Residents of Freetown are exposed to indoor and outdoor pollution, which can cause numerous different health problems, according to the World Health Organization. Manseri's aim is to address Goal 7 of the UN Sustainable Development goals so that affordable green energy can be accessible to all. From child age, from primary school, I love cre and creativity. I love making um, things out of scratch. When I was a child, I, I used to find this um, this thing called, we say, in our local, in our local diets, we call them milk cup. I used to, 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 to collect them from the dustbin and, you know, I used my own knowledge to make a um, big cool out of this thing cup. And also, again, I, I I, when I was a child, um, I usually build this, um, I would say battery generator, you know, collect battery from the dustbin, pull them together, you know, find the, the positive and the negative, and find the light and connect it. And during that process, you know, there, there is an electricity. And during the night, we use that's the, uh, this type of technologies to study. So I would say from child age is where I got this inspiration and up to now, the situation is between me. An impressive young man. It took him three years, three whole years. He's invested his time, his energy, all that he has in this car. And it actually works. I think the speed is 15 kilometers. Yes, it's not fast, but it's still the first, the first solar powered car that is made of trash. Like this guy collected trash to make this. This car is sustainable to the environment. As I told you, Sierra Leone is vulnerable when it comes to that. And this young man thought to himself, if I can make this, um, th I will contribute to my country. And he made it. It took him three years. How many of us can we say we will stick it out for three years that we don't even know if it's going to work or not. This is a new invention, new innovation that will take us three years and we have to collect trash. Like we have, it's not a done deal. He's not buying parts for him to make this. He is collecting trash. How does he find his parts? He has to go through trash. He has to go through things that were thrown away or things that other cars don't need anymore. And he made that possible. And he's only 24 years old. How impressive is that? Like this young man deserves everything, every bit of funding that he can get. And hopefully he gets the funding because aren't the governments always shouting the loudest saying um, sustainable living, uh, this is the plan, global warming is a danger to our environment and our earth. Like they've been saying that for a long time. So when somebody like this thrives, when somebody like this actually creates something new and um, create something out of trash, create something wonderful out of trash. This is the time to show what you've been saying is what you believe in. So help this guy out, give him the money that he needs and he deserves and let him make more. And also this can be affordable. He says his goal is to make it affordable for people. That is really awesome. And as I said, hopefully governments, this big uh, organizations can fund him and he can do something and help the community and Africa in general. Anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this young man. Um, I am Wangil Zalal. I'm bringing you this report. I will see you on the next one. Bye.